Oh man, Aaron, your guy's gonna definitely die tonight. You know <laughs> I'm gonna do death saves on this bad boy. Do this guy. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, Twelve. Not bad. Ooh, oh, death yeah. saves. Still two two thirds of the original the original group are still there. It's true. It's true. Oh, uh, Jake ah. is coming. He, uh, Harry, Harry dropped off Kepler. He's just like getting them settled. Yeah, it's fun. In the apartment. Inexcusable. It's in death. Yeah, you gotta take care of the pooch. I was like, um, yo, did you guys have a session without me before this one? Uh, there was one session without you, but you got caught up because in the last session, right? Uh, what did we do? We like yeah, so right before the last session. So we uh they went underwater, they found Drake, then they found the boat, then I visited Chris <clears throat> and we did the, the, the skull. Battle. Yeah, this we did a the battle against the mind flares, and then we we sort of lost that battle, but well, it was a no, it was nothing happened really. Um, well, a lot happened, but not a lot happened. And then you came back. Remember, I visited Chris and we played in person. Oh, right. You right. missed you missed the session before that. And right. then your guy was underwater. Remember that you found the boat. So that's what happened. Right, 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 right. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry. It's been how many weeks is it? It's been like three it's weeks. It's been a while. Fuck. Which is why we're gonna do we'll do back to back weeks. That that should catch us up. Yeah. Cool. We're only, once, we're only one session a month. Yeah, no, because when you were sending the boat stuff, I didn't quite remember the boat. Um well, yeah, we weren't on the boat for that long. The no. boat is when we did the uh the pixies and the or the something on the gelatinous cubes. The um the last thing we did was in that town, right? We were um you were on a Rhyme Island. Rhyme Island, yes. Okay, Rhyme Island. There we go. That's okay. Okay. I I'm there. Mentally, I'm there. Yeah. Um, remember oh, you asked, remember it's so funny that like no one ever remembers the time that Matt's characters die. So actually it happens frequently true. enough. We should remember. I Wait, remember when oh, we had... right. Pliskin died. Pliskin He's super was... super dead. Pliskin got six D. Pliskin ever resurrected one thing. I said no, because we never encountered any dead bodies in like four sessions. It was absurd. Ooh, Chris, I like the beard. It's coming Thank in. You. Oh. Um about a month. Matt, Matt's character had two HP left, and I told him to roll six D6. You could technically Oh, you, right. 6 you, six, not yeah, 66. You could have rolled six ones and somehow I think you'd still have a couple, like a death save, a death roll there. But yeah, it, it was because you doubled I, my HP. Yeah, baby. But anyway, your guy died. A gruesome death. Um, Matt's character, I forgot where we were. Let me see my notes. Uh, I gave everyone their stuff, right? Um, oh, what did I get? I don't remember. Oh, I don't have my see. notes from last let's time. Roll for, let's roll for a uh, quick recap. Ooh, I got notes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. was I here? I don't think I was here. Yeah, your character died. You were here. Oh, right. So I didn't get anything because of the death. Well, that was sort of it. So you guys came out. Um, oh, I gave you a pearl of power, then you very quickly destroyed it. Yeah. Oh, not on purpose, though. <laughs> not on purpose. <laughs> um, so I gave you guys the ship stuffs. There's uh, a bud, the king, a bud, and son, Buddha, on Rhyme Ram Island. And a Buddha. Um, see you guys come out of the hole. Um, and you, oh, so you guys went in. You you sort of docked at this particular island. You met King Abud, and they're all talking to you in weird weird uh, rhymes. 
their characters brought you through the forest. You randomly came across a group of uh, people. Elf. Oh, there were two elf guards that were gesturing to something in the water. Um, you guys decided to attack them and kill them. Uh, Matt, in particular, I mean, uh, Mike was in particular was pretty gruesome when he just held, went over and held the guy's head underwater and, until he stopped breathing. Um, turned out that they were just daring one of their companions to swim. So you guys just killed them all. Um, then you left them and came to this uh, area where there were a bunch of dark shades in the in the ground. You guys all stepped on one of the dark shades and started to do this uh, puzzle where you'd have to rhyme. Um, not sure exactly how the puzzle worked. Right. Um, everyone around, we're supposed to rhyme in order. Um, and once we got about halfway through, Aaron decided to rhyme like like sway with George or something like that. That's not what happened. Like, I just rhymed the word. That sounds right. That sounds Everyone right. was no, taking I think that's damage exactly right. no matter Aaron, what their rhyme was. And Aaron, Aaron was like, Aaron is not rhyming the right yeah. word. Aaron was like, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. And so then he started to do it. And then we got all the way around to, to Mike's character. And he was like, Apple. And then like, it, it <laughs> reset. And I was just like, you know what? Um, it opens. It opens. Congratulations. <laughs> uh no but you guys then you guys uh you guys figured it out um you rhymed everyone rhymed uh and uh i was also particularly bad at rhyming too and then you uh, were you were very bad really yeah. bad um, the rhyme over here the rhyme uh natives stayed up top while you guys went down below uh where the crystal was and you went through different areas uh, Lone Star was pretty good about um, walking slowly and trying to uh, untrigger traps. Um, and Matt's <laughs> character was not really that, that great at it and blew himself up. Then um, Mike's character went the opposite direction of the group and found a door where he found Matt's new character, whose name will be introduced later on. Um, you guys ran down the hallway and defeated a troll and found um, a key in a in a crystal. I'm not sure who took that. Um, and that was did take that. that was it. Then um, you guys went back up and met. The <laughs> I would assume Lone Star took it. Rhyme the one. The I'm, that's what I think I took it too. Uh, you guys went to the, oh, a bud met you on top, a bud the king met you on top, <laughs> thank you so much for finally getting rid of these, um, this weird spell that caused us damage, remember everyone was getting, um, injured by 10, by 10 HP, um, or so when, uh, they, they wouldn't rhyme, that spell is gone, now they can communicate and try to grow a civilization on the island. Um, they're very happy. They gave you the uh, bag of leaves, which has um, enough health potion in it. Uh, each leaf was a, was, a, was a health potion. Remember he was eating the leaves. Um, oh shit, I forgot. Wait, those, did we establish what those health potions were? Uh, they're just leaves, but they act as, as, as a health potion. All right, I'm gonna use um, them as we start playing. So, and then uh, that's where you are. Okay, I'm going to use this leaf and use it as a health potion. Um, I don't even have it in my inventory. Oh, wait, the green goblin leaf? Yeah, the green goblin leaf. Okay, I do have it. All right, I'm going to use this. Um, uh, is, it, what, what's a, is it a greater healing potion or? It's just a regular healing potion. Okay. 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Oh, I got to clear my box. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. I have all this stuff in my in my rolling box. Got to keep box clean. I know, man. I know. I, I've been too in and out. <laughs> Throwing shit down. Um, with, so, who can you guys tell me who's, who's who? Now I'm going to keep track of this. 
So Lone Star decided to be captain. I thought I, I think I was the quartermaster, but yeah. at the time you didn't think it was, or we didn't know that it was um, navigation. Right. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the randomness, though. So, uh, so the captain, the captain can, so can the captain can sort of. Um, I think we'll, when we get there, we'll, we'll do it. Um, and then you got uh, Sprock as the quartermaster. And then um, Aranus was the, I don't even know how to. The Aranus bosun. The bosun. Um, and then Mike was the first, uh, I forgot his character, was the first mate. Yeah, five health. Uh, I'm very interested. If, is he going to be charismatic in the way that he. Um, uh, Hunter, let me in. Yeah. Is he going to be charismatic in the way that he tries to like get the crew to work or is he going to be intimidating you know it's up that's up to him um and then you had what you had the surgeon and the cook so someone needs to be the surgeon and then an npc of some kind will need to be a, a cook or vice well, do we have enough players to yeah you got you got captain uh so that means that i can i can be uh play an npc mm -hmm. so you guys go to King Abud. Um, he looks at your ship and he says, thank you so much for uh, freeing us. I have a couple extra um, gifts for you. I know that you're going to be, he says, I know that you're going to be sailing. I don't know how far the next distant land is. We haven't even been able to sail off. We can't even communicate without having to rhyme. So it's very hard. Um, but I give you these. He, hold, he hands you uh, three uh, fishing lines, or uh, he hands you one fishing net, one large fishing net, and uh, two fishing poles. Um, hey, King of Bud, this island is a dud. Why don't we all leave and you can guide us across the sea? Yes. Um, he says, I already thought about you, sir. <laughs> he says, I'm going to give you three of my men, um, and they're going to help you patrol this. I see you have uh, the six of you. He's pointing towards um, the elf that's still in your boat from where the messenger elf. Um, between you men and these three, uh, I guess Rhyme Island indigenous Indians, um, you should be able to get going. Okay. <laughs> I see on my notes it says the Goblin King hands us all magic weapons. Uh, no, oh, that was. Oh, you gave him a magic weapon. No, I don't know. Um, I I no. was going to give you uncommon uh, weapons instead. I'm giving you um, fishing net, fishing poles. And I'm giving you cooking utensils. Also, you need to find a uh, a magic item for a bud who rolled a twenty on his item from the uh, bag of holding that's, or bag I'm holding. That's what, the, that's what the uncommon item is. Yeah, I have a note there. I was like, I don't remember giving out magic items. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think Matt's right. What? You gave us all legendary items. No. Yeah, that's what I remember that. No, Matt, your character died. Oh, right. So I got all the legendary items and they died oh, with me. Right. Yeah. That's what happened. Can we search his body? I don't think we got far. Yeah, you did. You did. No, no, I, my body half, was obliterated. I got the half burnt. There's nothing left. <laughs> you picked up the half burnt uh, time travel page. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, right. 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 <laughs> that's right. That's the most important part. Um, um, all right, so Matt, uh, do you want to be a surgeon or a cook in this? In this, uh... um, so the surgeon, so the surgeon will be I'll, in charge I'll be of the surgeon. You know, uh, fixing the crew. Um, his his actions during a battle is going to be like fixing the crew. Um, obviously, when there's no battle going on and you guys are just going around there's no encounters um you can also uh heal um 
and do shit like that. You don't have to just say, I'm going to go heal. You can also just ask me what you would like to do in, in terms of surgeon stuff. So I don't know. You could also be like the person that dissects things. And, you know, yeah. Essentially, you're like the, the doctor. Um, well, I'm a, I'm a hunter, so I feel like cook might be my a better fit. A cooking? Yeah. Okay. So I'll, do, you, I'll do the chef. What's your guy's name? It's a girl, and it's Ignis. Ignis. Yeah, I have Ignis okay. in my notes. All right, so Ignis is the cook, which means you... Um, you Somewhere. pretty much play with morale. You can offset the cruise morale with good food. You have oh, to excellent. find, but you do have to find. Um, so those utensils that uh, a bud just handed out, I, I would imagine that those are going to be yours. Okay. Um, he gave you fishing net and fishing poles. Try to find um, food, and he's going to give you a bag of wheat. Bag of wheat or weed? Weed, weed, weed. Both, both. Yeah. Okay, so bag of well, that's good for morale. From taking notes, I want to make damn sure. right it is. <laughs> damn right it is. Um, I'm putting them both down because you said both. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey Spencer, what yeah. is uh, what are the goblins' strength? Is it just like a standard goblin? Um, I think there's a crew. I'll look that up. <clears throat> Just because if they are, oh, maybe they're not stronger than me. All right, never mind. They're definitely, <laughs> they're definitely not stronger than you. <laughs> I mean, maybe, you never know. Like, well, yeah, like, don't kill our crew. I, I figured they might be a little more, more brute, but. I promise when we're done with the ship, we can kill everyone on it, but we, we need them for now. <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> yes. Um, I know that's what you were thinking. Don't lie. What's, for the million <laughs> like dollars, strong? Yeah. Like, can I murder them all? No, I was gonna trade jobs with them just because my job relies on strength, and I don't. Ha I have a low strength, but it's higher than theirs. So, million dollar question: What's the athletics? Mike's, also, what's Mike's character's name? Um, I have Ivo. it. In my notes. Give me one moment. No, Ivo. Oh, no, Ivo died. Right. No, Ivo died. It yeah. is fuck. What was his name? Right See before that? here. Also, uh, Everett. 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 Oh yeah, it's in the last one the of these characters. To calm him down. Uh, I will bring you your character. Sorry, um, I'll make one tonight. Yeah. Um. Oh, King Seapax, the Pixie King. Forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Got some stories to to tie up. You got John Brixel. Gregory Flake, who all work for King CPAX. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. You may never see them again. Um, Depends on if we go and kill the dragons with that magical sap under the something. Oh. Um, I don't know. I don't want to. Dragon sap. Matt, you said your character's name was Ignis? Ignis. Ignis Thiessen, if we're being formal. How do you spell that last name? T-H-E-E-S-I-N. Yeah, you guys fucking killed the Elven Guards. That's for sure. And what was the Goblin King's name? Bado or whatever? Bud. Oh, Bud. But no, I don't know. Got the Goblin King. Not. Oh. Uh, you guys are on a ship before you sail. This is the last time we'll, I guess we'll remind you of the stories, but you're on a ship that you just found in the middle of the ocean that was being attacked by harpies. And it looked like the harpies were probably attacking the gelatinous cubes. But from what you got from the messenger that, that randomly showed up, the messenger was asking the captain of the ship and Lone Star just jumped in and pretended to be the captain. Where is my stuff is what, and they said the, the Goblin King wants to know where his packages are. From, uh, all, from all you know, uh, the packages were probably those gelatinous cubes that were chained up. I don't know if you guys are going to go there. I don't know where that is, but that's up to you. 
Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Um, anything else you want uh, to try to do um, before you leaving Rhyme Island? Or staying on Rhyme Island? Maybe you want to build uh, a civilization with them. Oh. Um, no, we're heading out. All right, pirating. Let's go pirating. We're going west. Going west. Heading west. Here we go. Um, all right. Can we get some ship sailing music? Yeah. And also, this guy whose name is. Fucking guy. Oh, right. That's the guy that we didn't kill, right? But he was with yeah. the other people on the, when we took over the ship. Trapel? No. Tre no, Treple. Treple was long. Treple <laughs> is a hero. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Strike the Sailor Captain. Yep, Stike. 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 Okay, so Stike is the guy. <laughs> All right, Stike, Stike's like, oh, oh, where have you guys been? Jesus, it's been a long time. I'm starving. Um... You mean Master Keef? Is that the name you're looking for? Master Keef, yeah. No, Master Keef is the is the Goblin King. Yeah, you were asking about the Goblin yes. King. Yes, good job. Um, he says, "Oh, uh, where have you guys been? I'm starving. Looks like you." Uh, he sees uh, the uh, uh, cooking utensils that um, Ignis is uh, bringing aboard. He says, "Oh, lucky us." Well, I've caught, I've, I actually uh, used my, uh, my skills at uh, uh, craft and, and, and caught some fish. Perhaps we can uh, have, a, have, a, have a nice uh, dinner before we head out. Of um, course, of course. And um, a bud says, my tribe will watch out over you. Enjoy, take some rest. I suggest you head out at night um, when things are calm, or out with the uh, with the um, tide in the in the early morning. And um, you guys can have a long rest on your ship. Sweet. I mean, this shit should get pretty fucking crazy. So the ship, well, we'll we'll talk about it. The ship, your ship, is going to have two sail, uh, two rowboats. So you guys took the rowboats in, um, though the ship was kind of anchored there, you didn't really need. Um, and the way the ship is going to work is if you're in combat or there's an encounter of some kind, the ship will have its own initiative. And during that, the ship's turn, you guys can all, if you want, forego your turn and perform a officer action. Um, and then when the ship goes, the ship's crew will also go. So like the ship will move and the crew will do its stuff and we can play around with the rules. It's not um, set in stone. But I just I was trying to figure out how to get 20 people through an initiative order without taking 400 years. So that, that, was, my, <laughs> that was my plan. Cool. Um, so the crew members, just so you know, they are affected by positive and negatives. Um, they're also, if you have a good um, first mate um, and you can motivate them, that's one way, one thing. When you have a low morale, um, it could lead to uh, mutinies and whatnot, um, or just people wanting to leave. Um, your first, your three um, indigenous crew members uh one two and three are um 
are all volunteers uh, being paid for, they're for hire by the king. So you don't have to worry about paying them or persuading them or uh, ens uh, enslaving them. Um, they're, they're yours as long as the king has a say. Um, we don't murder the king. Yeah. And your, your boat right now has two cannons um, on each side mm -hmm. and one, um, what was the other one? The, the slingshot one? The, no, uh, and two, harpoon, two harpoon things. Two, uh, remember the one that Jake kept on shooting it to try to save you? Mingonel. He kept on, <laughs> kept on missing. A, bas a basilisk or something? Ba uh, ballista? Ballista, yeah. Ballista. Yeah. Yeah, weapon, ballista. Yeah. Those are fun. Yeah. Um, so that's what your boat is. Does it have a name? The boat? I recommend you guys name your name your boat. Oh, it, it comes unnamed? Um, it was a merchant ship being sailed by a captain that you don't know about. Um, the uh, gelatinous cubes, for all you know, and harpies seem to have destroyed and killed all of the um, crew members. So you don't really know. Um, on the side of the boat, there is written in language of... Um, does anyone know Draconic? Oh, um, um, I don't think so. No. Yes, your boy speaks Draconic. You're welcome. You know who's your girl. Ooh. Okay. Um, it's written in. Uh, yeah, it has a it has a name. I'll fucking pick out a name for you. Um, did you guys do all your long lists? Yeah, uh, no. I already. I didn't. I didn't know we got a long rest. That's awesome. Yay! Do it. In draconic, um, this ship means. Well, are right, you ready? Roll I'm one, ready. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roll one, um, one d ten. Okay. Two. Hey, Seagull. Gale blue. All right. What was it? Gale blue. You my boy, blue. It's a nice pun. I like that. And draconic, which is weird because you'd think it would be like Heath. Um, so the uh, strike is going to say, hey, um, I, back in another life, I used to uh, hunt and, and gather and um, I was never really good at it, but I, I could keep my my crew, my men alive. Um, I know that each ship needs a surgeon. Um, I would happily volunteer for this position until you find someone better or I die. Agreed, agreed, agreed. We'll gladly um, accept your, your service. And he drunkenly um, kneels before you to be knighted. Lone Star will pull out his. Uh... No, wait, Art, don't get me too. <laughs> He'll pull out a. Oh, what do I? Have? I don't even have a sword. And I'll just put my uh, gauntlet out. My armor gauntlet comes out, and I'll put the hand on the shoulder, and I'll knight the stake surgeon of the Gale Blue. Um, just as you do that, Everett's going to hold your hand and say, we will knight you. Um, that's Mike's character. 
And then you're going to hear uh, roll me a perception check, uh, Chris. All right, let's do it. First one. Ooh, that's terrible. Uh, that's an eight. You're gonna you're gonna see. Uh, you're gonna see Everett grab his stomach. Ooh, shouldn't have had any of that meat in that in that in that dungeon. And he's gonna he's gonna sort of make a sound like he's got diarrhea. Um, and he's gonna no. say, oh, I think I'm sick. Um, Strike is gonna say, Oh boy, let me let me do my first mission um, and try to heal him. So uh, uh, I'll be I'll be with our friend uh, uh, Everett um, until you need me. Uh, down below. So Mike's not here. Uh, Mike's guy guy has a uh, some sort of sickness. Um, not sure exactly where it's from, but he did uh, touch that meat in the um, in the dungeon. Um, we're not 100 sure what he's got um, until he comes back. But um, he's going to be he's going to lay lay low until he's he's needed or if he is needed. Um, so you guys have. The six of you, you have Lone Star, Sprock, Aranus, Everett, uh, Strike, and Ignis. And then you have three um, three crew members. Mm -hmm. And that's so it. So what are the roles left that we have to fill out? Uh, you know, you're, you're, the, you're, um, you're your your officer, your officers are, are booked. You don't have any, any, more, any more officers. But you do need... Uh, more crew members so um more you know, than the three that we have yeah um, yeah yeah this crew met the crew on this ship is, we're gonna make this guy over here work too if we want more like cannons to be able to be fired and shit yeah. at all yeah. Cannons, then we yeah need them. Ex exactly so the crew yeah. the crew on your ship um is 20 it says 30 i could leave it as 30 um you guys it's 20 you guys have 20, I mixed up the things. It's supposed to be 30 passengers and 20 crew. So you got uh, 20 crew available. You're going to be um, sailing at some sort of disadvantage. We'll talk about that later as it, as it goes on. Okay. Um, so would you guys like to head, head west, right? Yeah, so we're going to wait for the tide and then head west. Okay. Away from the sun. Um, Abad says good luck and waves um, from afar. And I guess we'll let me keep this. I'm gonna exit. I'm, I'm just gonna restart my computer. Gail Blue. Can I? I wonder if I could change it to blue. That'd be sick. No, nothing happened. All right. Uh, okay. Now, you guys are heading west. Um. Which one do we have to do now? Give me a give me a one d eight uh, quarter, quarter master. Give me uh give me a perception check. You are the one who does the piloting. I am the piloting. Is that a perception check? Yeah. Sorry, I had to refresh my thing. Uh, it says 25. Um, it's clear. Clear as it has ever been. Um, all you see in front of you is uh, an open ocean. And you are pushing along. Um, now give me quartermaster a um, roll me a 1d8. 1d8? Mm -hmm. Hey, um, while we're not in initiative. Yeah. Six. Okay. Go ahead, Eric. Um, I will, uh, I, I mean, if, if I can, I'd like to, like, while we're sailing, mm -hmm. can I, uh, find familiar? Like, can I summon something? Yeah, you could do that. All right. 
which so it takes an hour to cast. Do you need concentration on that? Um, Once it's cast, it's non-concentration. Yeah, no. But it does need a focus for an hour. Yeah. So I need to, yeah, basically I need concentration for for the sum for the casting time, not the um to maintain it. Sure if I have here, Matt, I just put your character out um as if it was something cool. Okay. Um six, eh? Yeah. <clears throat> Is that the dex mod? What do you? What is the six for? Oh, it's for a random um, encounter, a oh. random event encounter of some kind. So, oh, where's my? Oh my god, this dog is so obsessed with me eating soup. Yeah, Betty is. Hey, why aren't we eating? You guys so... get to see Kepler on Wednesday. You see uh, storm clouds um, raging. Oh, right. We're playing on Wednesday, right? Yeah. And a huge storm starts to approach you. See, right I yell to the crew to reef the sails. Okay. Oh. Um, so you're going to you're going to um, act as the first mate. And sort of um, try to enthuse the crew to. Uh, I'm going to act as the captain and issue yeah. orders. Yeah, there you go. So, what are you telling? What are you telling the three the three uh, men? I'm telling them to reef the sails and begin mm -hmm. preparing the deck for for a storm, batting okay. down the hatches. All right, they're going to. Um, grab on to the sails um, and they're going to try to reel them in um, with their you want the are you trying to hold have the are you, you want the uh, sails down yeah I want the sails yeah. down yeah okay so they they can you just they're fine they they get the sails down um, takes them a little bit of time your uh, wind is blowing uh, towards you, so um, you haven't moved forward at all. Um, it's been it's been at least an hour since you've uh, initiated that that order. Aaron, your fine familiar is is done, um, and the storm seems to pick up uh, rather heavily, um, and it's raining very very hard. Um, a thick, dark cloud covers um, and rolls overhead, and light rain begins to drizzle down. And soon the drizzling becomes a full-fledged downpour. Waves start crashing uh, and rolling through. Um, there's flashes of lightning as this large thunderstorm uh, starts to um, crack all around you. Um, and then there's a bolt of lightning that shoots and shocks um, close to one far away, one closer, and another closer, and another closer. Um, and finally, uh, so I need a percentile guy. Uh, you guys are all sort of buckling down. Is anyone going in who's staying up? Lone Star stand on the wheel. Okay, Lone Star's on the wheel. Um, I would imagine Sprock, you're the quartermaster trying to navigate this thing. Um, you're trying to go west. Um, my strike is going to say, "Oh my God, uh, you're not going to believe it, Lone Star, but Everett is trying to row. Uh, we can maybe use some more hands down here." I'll yell to the. Uh... To the goblins to get down there. Um, okay, so uh, the goblins, um, Everett and Strike are going to disappear down below deck to try to row, and you guys are going to uh, have yourselves a nice thunderstorm. So 
uh, the ship. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have my my uh, Robin, my owl, just tuck under. I'm gonna pull under my coat. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot. I love how like I accidentally kill this guy every single time. It is an accident. I swear. Um, <laughs> how you use the term accidentally? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how you, you think an accident happens. It's an, it's an accident. He died. It's like Matt's Matt's character. So uh -huh. uh, travel pay. So you guys go five miles an hour um, uh, without the without the sails, and um, you need to go. No, sorry. Yeah, uh, five, five miles an hour with the sails. I thought uh, with sails. And what's the? Uh, hold on. I think it'd be half or less. Yeah, yeah that's correct. So you guys going two miles an hour, um, and you guys got to get through this storm. So it looks like uh, your guys are going to be in this storm for um, about 20 minutes. Um, no, it's about 10, about 10 minutes. We're going to do a percentile die. Uh, and the lightning seems to be uh, crashing here and there. Um, and how are we going to choose random characters? Who's who's on deck? Lone Star. Lone Star. The four of you are on deck. I think we're all on deck. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm at the helm. Everyone, roll me one d four. One. That's not good. Two. Still loading back up. Hold on. I'm almost there. One. Oh my God, hurry. Oh uh, man, God, just hurry. roll me a, D, a D4. I just can't get into my thing. Hold on. You can even just pick the number. Three. Um, okay. The uh, lightning strikes uh, uh, nearby, um, but it does not cause you. Um, actually, it does. It, uh, it strikes right near nearby on the deck, um, and no one is injured. Um, but it is a loud enough burst that you do see, uh, even though it's raining so poorly, you do see some smoke flare up. Um, so that was the first minute. And another minute goes by. Roll me another D4. Are we going to have to literally roll for each minute? You guys are going to have to roll for uh, a couple times. Three. Three. One. No, two, two, two. two. <laughs> uh, Sprock. And Chris, what did you get? Two. I got a four. Um, Sprock, <laughs> you are going to get a direct hit. You do have, oh, uh, you do not have the, um, a, a dex save on this because lightning is too Quick. Wait, I'm getting hit by lightning. Yeah, great. Um, so, <laughs> that's tough. Was, yeah, all right. So you get five <laughs> plus that's nine plus uh, you get sixteen damage. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm on. sixteen lightning damage. And when uh, then then you hear lightning damage crash around you. Um, another. Let's see. Do it. Do it on your phone. Nope. Uh, no one gets hit by that, so that's now four minutes. Uh, let's see, 50, 50 is another dud. Um, no one hears that. The waves are crashing. Um, you're starting to lose uh, sense and orientation. Uh, Chris, give me a uh, uh, a check to a strength check to see if you can um, hold the uh, with disadvantage hold the wheel um, mm -hmm. while you're going i think sprock's holding it too yeah i have the wheel. Sp sprock is the main one controlling it lone star just right there to to direct to to, to, to direct him to have an extra hand if he sprock he give me it. sprock give me a disadvantage um strength check on your uh control of the ship five um okay the ship that was is what i rolled to a five <laughs> the ship is spinning um and as it spins 
waves are crashing. Uh, you are becoming disoriented um, and don't necessarily know um, which way is which as the thundering clouds um, get closer and closer and the sky goes darker and darker. There's a loud noise, boom. Um, everyone give me a dex save as lightning crashes on the deck um, and the elect electricity shoots around the, uh, the water um, and it's going to deal you half damage if you don't get out of the way. I got a 12. That passes. 22. What am I rolling? A deck save. What'd you get, Aaron? 14. Nice. Five. Fucking shit. Okay. Um, Jake. Your focus yeah. on trying to regain control of this ship. Yeah. <laughs> um, ooh, four, man. You get a six damage on that. Um, the first one was uh, 16, and this is a six. Um, all right. Two more, two, two more minutes here. The, so we take uh, half we made the save? Uh, yeah, you get half, so you get everyone gets three damage. Um, there seems to be a dark cloud coming up, um, really, really, and the air you, you can feel the uh, your your hair starting to lift a little bit, um, even though the rain is so is so heavy and torrential. Um, give me a perception check with disadvantage, Jake. Fifteen. Um, you do not. You do not. Um, you do not see this. The uh, stars in the sky. You have no direction um, which way the uh, ship is going. The guys downstairs. I've been rowing and rowing and rowing. And Even there's an, there's another. What did you say? Even with a fifteen. Yeah. There's another crack, um, and now give me. This is going to be a direct shot. I need a one d four if the if you if you hit the number. I'm thinking. Actually, you know what? We'll do a, a match. There you go. Is that everyone? Yeah, I got a one. I got a one. Four. Uh, you said one more. This is the d eight. Uh, one d four. Oh, d four. One. There are three direct hits. Oh, that's great. Um, everyone is going to take three D10 lightning damage. Ooh. Um, I will allow for a uh, dex save on this as it hits the three of you. Um, I fail. Uh, that's a two. That's a 10 and uh, 13 damage. Uh, Aaron, give me a, a dex check. Dex, got you. Uh, that's uh, 21. Um, you jump out of the way. Um, Matt. Yeah, I'm fine. Dex, right? dex save. I rolled a four. Oh yeah, you're you're you take seventeen damage. Wait, uh, what? Sorry, 30, no, 25, 25, 25 on the deck save. Oh, okay. You, you don't take any damage. Um, oh, I'm sorry. You guys take half the damage. I fucked that up. So the guys who succeeded on the deck save take half damage. Right. Um, so six damage, damage, six damage to the people who failed, and thirteen damage to uh, the thirteen people, thirteen damage to the people who failed. Six damage through successes. And Jake, did you jump out of the way or you, you didn't have to? Didn't have to. Because you're the fucking boss, that's why. Right. Um have to trade. All right. The water scene, the the uh waves are churning you. Um, and let's see now, since you are the quartermaster, Jake, let's see how far off you guys went. So roll me a um Roll me a D four. 
while that's happening, I'm going to or, uh, telepathically yell to Stike to come up here and start healing us. Where'd you get a four? Yeah. Nice. Okay. And uh, roll me a roll me a d20. No, roll me a percentage die. That's this one. What? The percentage die. What is that? Ten, oh, it's 10 sided? Yeah. It's got um, I don't know. I'm doing this on the computer. That's right. It would be 80. So you are well, lo sort of, well, you definitely know that the ship has been carried in a different direction than you had anticipated. Right. Um, the waves have crashed um, and, and, and pushed you further out into the ocean. Um, do not know if you know exactly how far yet. So, but I will take. What'd you roll on that? Eighty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so that's the so the D four and the and the roll was what direction. And how far? So that's where you eighty percent of its distance, and uh, you guys have to figure that out. It's up to you. Um, okay, and the water seems to be uh, calming down. Um, you look back and you see that the uh, clouds behind you um, are uh, going away, um, dissipating, um, and you've just survived a uh, thunderstorm um, out in out at sea. That was which random event? Um, the crew is There's three of them, so the crew suffers one hit of morale. Do you guys want me to? I don't know if I should keep that. I think I should keep that quiet. Um, the crew, the crew are a little uh, nervous um, as they poke their heads out um, from such a such a they just came from us their home and now they just get on this random vessel with random people there's a there's a orc uh dragon there's a dragon born having diarrhea downstairs next to a drunken surgeon guy um and the ship's rocking and rolling through a thunderstorm uh telepathically tell them thank you guys for all your hard work and your help we made it through the storm all thanks to you and I'm going to reach my bag and hand them each something. And uh, let, let me know your name so we can become better uh, acquaintances all on this boat together. The first guy is going to come up to you and he's going to say, my name is Jackson. Jackson Abud. Son. Abudson. A Budson. Jackson, a Budson. <laughs> nice. Um, the next guy is going to say, My name is Baxson, a Budson. No. Oh. And the third guy, the third guy, guess what it is? <laughs> Roll me a D20, Matt. Matt. Roll me a D20. Me? <laughs> yeah, we're going right. to keep the last, the last six uh, of the alphabet out of this one. Four. Nice. It's Daxon. Nice. A Badson. Obviously. And then he says, Jackson says, I'm the eldest. And I just want to let you know 
um, we had that we, our names are sort of uh, rhyth, uh, rhyme with the island because you know when we were born we had to we had to rhyme. Um, thank you for your and I'm gonna roll one through twenty for the whole thing. Six. I pull out three short swords and hand them each a short sword. Wow. Um, okay. They seem delighted. Uh, all right, now I gotta change that one. How was that thunderstorm? Was that okay? Yeah, that was fine. That was yeah, that was cool. All right. Um now roll me. Who's next for the roll? You know what, Matt? Why don't you roll me? I know I should have the um first off, where are you guys headed? Uh, where's, where's the sun in the sky right now? It is what are you being you left in the early morning? So it is. I guess you can. I guess you'd be able to figure out which which way was um, east and west. So you guys want to head? I would west? hope so. Yeah, we're gonna head west. I can do that in the real world. Uh, I would hope our crew could do it. Okay. And I'll tell the uh, the three. A Budson brothers to take a take a a little break as we get going and get sorted so it can ease off from all that rowing. Um, they are going to uh, very easily um, undo the sail holding whatever that is the ropes and uh, head down below as you ordered them. Um, roll me. First off, uh, Chris, uh, I'm sorry, um, Sprock, give me a perception check. You are the pilot. Come on. Come on. Twelve. Huh? Twelve. Nice. Um, you see... Um, in the distance, there seems to be a ship. Uh, with its sails down. Um, and it is to the east of you. It is, how far is your distance? As far as, who can see the farthest is what I'm, I guess I'm, let's see. Who can see the furthest? Yeah, what's your guys? I'm an owl. That's gotta be good. Um, I have 120 feet. That doesn't feel very far. So you, but so that's of what, dark vision? That's dark vision, yeah. So I don't know, I light, well, maybe double. Day, you have like normal sight. It's about, it's about, you don't know, four hundred feet away. Yeah, yeah, we could we could see that. Yeah, it's like the football stadium. Um, and it seems that the ship, as you're sailing, um, as you come across it, um, you guys are sailing away from it slowly. Um, it seems like it's not moving. You boys feel like being some pirates. Let's let's go board Absolutely. that ship. Sprock, let's spin this baby around, check that thing out. I agree. Big mistake. Just kidding. Um, As we start to get close, I'll tell Bath we tell the uh our crew that we're approaching uh, another vessel and to, to come back up on deck. Um they come up, they follow your your lead. Um, As we go, I bust out my pan flute and I start playing sailor songs for everyone. Nice. Uh, you guys are... Specifically the Wellerman one. I like that one. Can you sing it for us? Sure. It's because soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. 
One day we'll all be young. And, oh no, and we'll take our leave and go. And just um, like there's other words, but you get it. Matt, you can have an inspiration for that. Though I feel Thank like she, she was she was like belting it. She's got, you know, she doesn't have a good voice. But she's got. She's got a she looks exactly <laughs> like Barbara bar Wire. So. Um, so you guys are moving in the same direction, turning the ship, um, moving. How, are you trying to move slowly? Are you trying to move going quick? Well, um, as we get get closer, do we see any movement on the boat? Um, you see that the water around the vessel, you're about, um, I'd say Captain, about three, hey. you're probably about 300 feet at this point. Captain Sprock, does, uh, does our ballista have um, a chain attached to um, the projectile, the arrowhead, the spear? I don't think it does, but you could you should put one on. Can we attach a chain um to the ballista and then shoot it through the hull of the ship and pull it towards us? Hmm. Let's wait till we get a little bit closer. Oops. Um there goes the ship. You guys here, I got back. You guys um Get closer, you know, I'll just create another ship. Closer to the ship. Um, and you see that this is not um doesn't do it justice. You guys are farther away from the ship than that. But um as you're getting closer, you see that the bubbles um around the ship uh are really frothing and bubbling, and you start to see uh something jut out of the, of the water a little bit. Give me a uh, perception check, Aaron. Actually, everyone give me a perception check. Ooh. Uh, 22. 12. 16. 15. All right, you guys see what looks like um, large tentacles slipping up the side of the ship. He yelled at Sprock to get us the fuck out of here. Sprock, turn around. <laughs> um, as you guys are turning, you guys are going to try to turn around? Yeah. Um, veer off and get away. Okay. So, interesting. Are you guys going to try to step? I, let me just see here. Now we're going. Um, are you guys going to do some sort of stealthy maneuver, or are you guys just going to fucking bolt? I don't know if we can stealthily turn a boat. Well, I would say we'd uh, try and not do a sharp turn. Just do, as we notice that, just turn so we don't make a big wake as we curve, well, but as soon as we're facing away from it, book it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Use our momentum to slowly move. Okay. So no splash. It's, splash. It's like, splash. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this is like turn about like a. It's like you were regularly turning. That's a nice stable curve all the way around, and then let every sail we have out catch all the wind. As you guys and open up one of the bags of wind. One of the five that we got. There you go. Into our sails and say, get us the fuck out of here. Where were the bags of wind from? Um, it was from the tunnel because that was right after I tickled Tevrit's taint. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys see these uh, these tentacles uh, coming up, and as you guys make your uh, great escape. Um, give me a perception check, uh, Sprock, since you are sort of in awe of this, um, as you would never have seen um, something like this. Nine. And also, you're the quartermaster. Was it a five? Nine. 
Nine. Um, is that with your plus? Yes. You got a one? Correct. Okay, so Sprock um, was trying to look uh, and he falls into the water. Oh no. Uh, give me another perception check, Sprock. Try to hide. Can we not can a we one? Take a nine. Oh, you got can a nine. Cast a spell in reaction to this. Nineteen. Oh, you got a nineteen. Well, you got a, a nine, a nineteen, or a one. I got a nine, a nine, which was yes, a one, but it was still a nine, and then a nineteen. Okay, so you fell off with your natural one. Um. For what's giving, the fucking point in having the additions? <laughs> um, well, that's what happened. So you 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 fell off because you 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 fucked this whole thing up, and then uh, <laughs> you land in the water, um, and you open your eyes and you see a large, very massive object under under there. Um, just as you are seeing, you see all these tentacles. There's about fifteen of them. Um, and there's a big, big, massive body. Um, a large amount of ink just shoots out from from somewhere on this body um, and conceals it uh, from you. Um, you are now in the water, and let's see. Um, Since I was next to him, could I try and yeah run and do something for him? Mm -hmm. Could I run and cast vortex warp? And pull them up right on the deck next to me. Sure. Do you have to? Um, it's a ca just, casting a spell. Yeah, he's just in. He's just in the. In I just the, have to see him. You guys are not in engaged. Yeah. Yet. So I'll tell him in his head, it's gonna feel weird, but trust me. And I'll warp him next to me on the boat. But... Um. Okay. Put my hand on his shoulder and say, try not to fall in. What'd you see down there? There's a big fucking pentacle ink thing. We need to get out of here? Yeah. So as you guys um, start to turn and start to leave and start to slowly drift uh, further away, you see this uh, these tentacles grasp the ship and sort of tear it apart and pull it down underneath the water um, with with ease. Um, and as you get further and further away from this mayhem, um, you see the tentacles sort of drift underneath the water and that's it disappear um what direction are you guys we're going to turn back west making our way back west um sprock give me a perception check Oh, and I'm going to tell the surgeon to come start healing us. 16. Oh, um, I'm going to have uh, my owl just kind of like fly out. Um, I've got like a telepathic range with it. Oh, nice. Within 100 um, feet mm -hmm. right or whatever. So, yeah, okay. he'll, he'll, he'll fly just like at that edge and just kind of like circle back, land on the crow's nest, fly out, circle back. That's just, that's what he's doing. Give me a perception check with that guy. I don't see anything for oh plus three so twelve. Um, your guy and does he see your mind's eye or does he have to come back to you? Um, no, he has to come back to me. He has, so he has to communicate to you when he comes back. Um, oh, hold on. no, he can telepathically no, he can... communicate with them. 
within a hundred feet, he can telepathically communicate with me. And then I can also choose to see out of its eyes at any point. But then I, I have to like concentrate for that. Um, hold on. Yeah, when you're familiar with within 100 feet of you, you can communicate it with it telepathically. Additionally, as an action, you can see through your familiar's eyes and hear what it hears until the start of your next turn. Oh, so that's only in initiative. Okay. Um, you do not. That's not in initiative. Huh? You can see through them all the time if you want. Oh, okay. It just takes right. an action to do it. Gotcha. All right, so yeah. Okay. Um, you see uh, from that guy, uh, from that area. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to make a token, I can flip it around. Oh, uh, yeah, let me, uh, I'll make you one. You can see um, when you go way up and, and stare down, you can see that there's uh, bits and pieces of the ship um that was there that was broken you can also see a rather large shadowy um dark mass underneath the ocean um get a little a little less dark um but still still dark it's still there so i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell robin telepathically to circle around the edge to like trace the edge of the darkness and I'm gonna yell out to Sprock, um, hey, there's a uh, there's something under the water over there. And look at Robin's flight, look at the owl's flight. Mm, interesting. Um, so you're gonna try to, so your Robin is gonna be moving. Okay. Um about well, he's an owl, but yeah, his name is yeah. Robin. So keep All right, you guys are heading west. About 30 minutes goes by, um, and this owl is tracing out this figure, and the distance between the figure and the ship has not changed. Um, I guess your quartermaster could deduce that perhaps you have a follower of some kind. Uh, where's your bird? Where's that bird? Uh, the dark mass is following you. Here you go. Bat. There you go. Uh, oh, right. It was a bat. <laughs> uh, let me unlock him. There you go. Um, so you have a large object. Um, let me see how fast this guy can move. Yeah, he's going to catch up to you. Um, uh, just floating, following you. Um, and it's in the water. It's not, it doesn't look you know, it's it's behind it's way behind the ship, but it's 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 there. Yeah. Um okay. Now, Captain. Yes. Roll me, roll me a random encounter. Gladly. Um, okay. Do good, Captain. What do you need for me? Uh one D eight. A, a good one though. A five. Nice. Ooh, right in the middle. I like it. Okay. Uh, this is going to be weird. Yeah. So, <laughs> you say that in this campaign? You hear this? You hear this? Wooha! Sepwasa! Wooha! And um, your owl guy is still. I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna pop Robin into a pocket dimension and then pop him out next to me. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Strike is gonna come up board and he's gonna say, "Hey, who needs healing?" Oh wait, so can you move, need healing? Can you move my? Can you let me move my? Oh, yeah. never mind. I can move it. Uh, does anyone need any healing up here? I uh, just. I'll just, point to Sprock. Sprock. I'm going to attempt to heal you. Stand back. And he um he takes out, uh, he looks at you and what are you suffering for? Burns. So he takes out um a rag of uh of soapy water looking water and so salty uh, water and he says, Come here. Um and he grabs your your wounds 
um, and it stings to high hell. Um, and you experience uh, seven, 11 HP uh, of healing from the surgeon. Great. Nice. You're welcome. You're welcome. I am. Um, and he says, oh, I forgot to tell you. I should have shown you this before. Here, sir, um, a token of my appreciation uh, for allowing me to board you. Usually people just kill me, uh, kill people like me out in the water. Um, and he hands you a spyglass uh, to, to Lone Star, the captain. Uh, and you hear this woof, ha, woof, um, up in front of you. I'll look through the spyglass and see what I see. You see what seems to be a couple chariots that are pulled by dolphins. Um, and some merfolk uh, circling around. Um, it looks like they're doing some sort of sport. And there's a couple other merfolk on a floating raft. Um, from what you get, what you can gauge, give me a uh, intelligence. Um, let me see your intelligence. My intelligence is a 20. Um, you see a chariot race with merfolk cheering. And that, that platform, that barge, it's sort of like the stands. A bunch, a bunch of merfolk um, on, on it cheering for their... I'll, I'll point to that platform and say, Sprock, aim up right over there. It's trying to try and anchor there. And I'll yell to the crew to put the sails up and then get down and start the row. Um, you guys are going to get on your... No, I'm just going to have them row the, the big boat. Oh, okay. So the crew is going to go down and start rowing the boat. Yeah, I'm um, going to pull the, have the sails go up and then have them row it. Okay, you get closer to the um, shenanigans that's happening. Um, I'm going to just have them be a bunch of elves or maybe supernaturals. Um, let's see. Nope, that did not work. The, uh, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of elves there are a bunch of elves hanging out on this piece of wood um and there is a game going on um and there are dolphins um that are that are being that are pulling uh chariots and that's what you see um and it looks like everyone's having fun uh <laughs> I'm going to suggest to Lone Star that we angle whatever this thing is following us into those group, that group of people and try to get away. Well, that's why I want our boat to go right next to there. So if it comes to us, it goes to them, and we have a way to get out of here. Let's do it. Um, all right, where the fuck are the animals? Okay, there are dolphins um, that are pulling a chariot. As you guys get closer, um, no one speaks water language. Uh, uh, so no. It's going to be interesting. Um, and the tele, tele, uh, telepathic doesn't doesn't work. I'm, I'm double checking if I need to share a language. Um, I guess they could just speak common. As long as they share a language. Mm. Um, okay. Well lucky for you it seems to be that uh these guys are gonna say oh and you guys get closer and closer to them um so i'm gonna move them over uh look a ship it comes closer um and come on you guys get closer to the ship or closer to the uh sport and one of the judges, it looks like, uh, who's been sitting on the um, on the wooden plank, which floats on over to the ship, 
I, well, actually, you guys are rather propelling your way over to the to the plank. Um, the judges, what the fuck? Uh, whatever. The judges uh, ask you, you travelers, um, you guys have just uh, lucky for you. You have just, and this is the king, the guy in the red. Um, not the king, but the the sort of the head, the head honcho judge of the uh, Merk Falk Dolphin Chariot Race. Um, would you, one of you guys like to perform a uh, have a wager? Uh, would you like to try to beat our champion? I'll slap my hand on Aranus's shoulder. Well, champion, what do I, you say? <laughs> it was like could do for something leisure and I, I walk up to the dock I put my foot up and I go are you friend or foe <laughs> oh we are mere folk we uh uh you can you can call us friends we uh come up top uh once a month to perform the mere folk racing chariots with dolphins uh games and uh we are looking for a champion who can best our, our uh, looking for our champion. And we celebrate them and they get great rewards if they were to win. Hmm. I like rewards. I look back, I like rewards. I like, okay. My, my champion can beat anyone you put up. So we're ready. I'll go, I mean, you said oh, there's oh, another oh. boat? Uh, no, they have they have two chariots. There is, and the chariots are tied. Uh, no, 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 I know, I know, I know. But they 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 themselves are on another. Boat. Oh, they're on a they're on a wooden floating. They don't need to. They they're uh, half, you know, half mer people. They're water people. They're water people. All right. Um, so I'm gonna I guess just hop down to the chariot. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna come to the end and I'm like, can you can you bring me the chariot over here? I'm not gonna jump, just jump in this water. Um, sure. Uh, but I promise you the water is very safe. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. For us mere folks. <laughs> um, he says, sure. And he says, uh Merlac, bring the <laughs> bring the chariot over to the boat. Uh Merlac sort of almost. He didn't walk on water, but damn well clo uh, close to it. Um, okay. Brings the chariot over to the ship, and Merlac kind of gives you a face and says, eh. there you yeah, go. So I hop off and I land in. Do you want me to give you a dex? Um, yeah. Or athletics, what is that, nine? Uh, hold on a sec. Sorry, I always forget what my fucking dex. Oh, wait, is this the dex uh, like save, or is this this? Oh, no, no, no. Are you trying, are you just trying to jump in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me a deck save. It's, that's fine. Yeah, plus nine. Oh, all right. Well, 26. All right. Well, you are uh, just slipping and sliding right in. Um, now, he says, there's some rules. Um, you do not need to attack each other, though it is encouraged that sure. you fight. Sure, sure, um, sure. Need you come across one another on the uh, I thought this was just a race I'm just all it is. oh of course like, but, uh, uh, Mirfolk, um chariot rider Mirfolk uh, take this race very seriously I understand um what the fuck wow that was cool so is this is this the <laughs> yeah the megalodon is this was pulling us <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um we do not have any dolphins. We only have megalodons. Uh but we've we swear they won't be eating eating you today. How are they strapped to the uh chariots? Um you look down, um, they're they're just gonna be dolphins, but they have one dolphin a piece, um, mm -hmm. the chariot, and the chariot has uh rope. Um, right. Sort of like a horse, like a um, like a, like like a, a bridle, yeah, like a, a re reins that are 
Um, but, how, but how is the chariot connected to the dolphin? Or is it literally just through, through the dolphins, uh, through the dolphins' fins? There are holes that they've drilled ropes into. Oh. Got it, got it, got it. Ooh. Dolphins, you can't imagine. The um, dolphins are pissed. Yeah, yeah. dolphins are not, are not happy. Um, okay. And if you're an animal lover, Jake, uh, you, you'd know this. Yeah. <laughs> the dolphins are pissed. Yes. Um, okay, so uh, Mordred um, is going to be racing you. And Mordred, uh, the, uh, the king Mordred is going to say... Um, Apex, our uh, hero will be racing you now. Um, and how close is he to me? He's uh, about 10 feet. 10 feet? Yeah. Okay. Be be before you get going, Aranis, let me run down there and give you a little blessing. I'll put my hand on your head. Say, serve me well and cast um, enhance ability on you. Oh, okay. Okay. Giving you, I assume this is going to be dexterity. Yeah. So I'm going to give you Cat's Grace. You have advantage on dexterity checks. Nice. All right, cool. Um, Mor Mordred um, is going to go over to Apex, and he is going to <laughs> <laughs> give Apex some sort of... <laughs> Touchy, feel, touchy, feely, um, that you don't really know. The God of Talos is bestowing power on two <laughs> objects. Um, and Mordred is going to say, Apex, there is no reason for you to lose this match. Let us begin. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to uh, immediately tell to up. Robin telepathically oh. to use flyby on my opponent's dolphin to take oh. its attention away from the race. Roll initiative. <laughs> you have advantage on initiative. Nice. Because of uh, enhanced ability. 24 and... That's right, I got a three. 15. Um, <laughs> so 24. <laughs> I got a three. Okay, so uh, go ahead. Um. So I'm going to... I'm going to have Robin use flyby on the dolphin that is steering for this dude and take his attention and like okay. engage him. Um, let's do a dolphin's attention. Uh, 10 or below, it fails. Uh, why don't you roll it? Um, a, a D20. 11 to 20, uh, the dolphin is uh, going to operate at half speed because it's got the attention of the bird. 13. Nice. Okay. So move your move your guy. You're going first. You yep. can move this whole thing up. Let's just move. Yeah, do you want to just move it? Because I feel like yeah, if I'll I just try to, I will just, just um this guy is going to be half um half speed. Um he is going to shoot and aim a uh like a dagger at your um chariot okay that is a, a nine is not going to hit that um so he misses mm -hmm. um it's your turn um i'm going to draw my bow and shoot him in the chest i mean i don't know um <laughs> yeah i'm gonna draw my bow and shoot him in the chest um go ahead 15? 15. Um, that hits him. Hits him. Uh, hit him for 10 damage. Somebody was grabbing it when I got home. Oof. He uh got to go grab it. 10 damage. He does not he does not look good. Um okay. And I keep moving forward. Yes. Yeah. So I'll I'll move forward. Um. Yeah. Uh, you are gonna see him take out a whip, um, of some kind, an electrical whip, um, and attach it to his, uh, 
uh, reins and he's going to electrocute the uh, dolphin and make him travel uh, twice the speed um, that they were traveling. Um, yeah. I guess. And that's all, that's his action. Okay, so now he's moving regular movement. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to <laughs> see this happen and shoot him a fucking gun. <laughs> Like, fuck this guy. He's just now he's just shocking the thing. Um, Chris and Sprock, give me a perception check. Are you guys watching this? I am watching this. That's a dirty 20. Wow. <laughs> okay. 18. So, okay. You guys are watching this. Did you, Aaron, did you shoot this guy? Uh, the second time, yes. Uh, what with what? Sorry. Right. What'd you um, roll? Uh, dirty 20 on the short bow shot. Okay, give me a uh, description of the death of, <laughs> of Apex. <laughs> so he pulls out this electric green and he smacks it into the dolphin and the dolphin <laughs> shoots forward. And I see that this fucking poor creature is just being shocked. So I just pull out the bow and I just aim for his head this time. And I just clip him between the eyes and him and his electric whip fall back out of the chariot and the dolphin slows to a stop, no longer being shot. Um, okay. And you're going to finish the race, I'm assuming. And yeah. <laughs> <finish the race. laughs> okay. Um, so you hey, we won. Came around to the, to the boat um, and you're going to see uh, uh, Mor Mordred uh, he's going to say, oh, oh, good sport, good sport, my friend. What was your name, sir? Aranis. Aranis. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to like kind of shuffle the rain and, um, what it's, it's just rope. Yeah. I'm going to use my dagger to cut the rope, uh, cut the rope free of the chariot. The dolphin um, swims off, and your chariot starts to sink. How water. far away from my uh, from the boat? Uh, twenty feet. I'm a misty step to the dock, to the deck. Nice. Um, I'll have my fist out waiting. Can we all? Can we, I want to. I gather the crew in celebration of our victory. I want everyone cheering for for uh, Mor Mordred. Mordred. Mordred is going to jump. Sir, may I? Who's the captain here? May that I is... board your vessel? Well, uh, well, I'm... let's let's, let's talk right here. We're we're cautious about our vessel. Of course, of course. These uh, dangerous, uncharted waters uh, for you, walking people can be sort of discerning, but it's you people only live on half of the world. Us mere folk, we get to enjoy all of it as there's so much more underwater. Um, I have to give you your reward for winning. What is it that you like? That as, we like? Yes. I'll look around at everyone. I'll take a blue crystal skull. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Do you, hey, uh, Cassandra, do you have a uh, blue crystal skull on you? She says, I don't even know what that is. It's <laughs> a good try. <laughs> I have to throw it out there. <laughs> um, he says, well, how about one of these? Um, since I saw you bonding with the animal, those gross animals, you can have yourself one of these. Um, and he throws you a, a whistle, um, what looks like to be a homebrew creation of mine that will, uh, when you blow it, um, well, you'll- Are you Aquaman? Do you like get to you'll have to figure out? You'll have to figure out. I'll take uh, that and I'll, this, I'll toss it to Aranus. Yeah. This one's yours. Give it a blow, Aranus. Serve it well. I'm going to look I'm like, all right. And I'm just going to blow on it. Give me a uh, one 
I know that there's a longer list, but for this one, we'll keep it short. Give me a one D4. D4. Mm -hmm. Two. Oh, I was gonna. I was, I was gonna be like, I hope he doesn't get a shark. That'd be hilarious. Um, <laughs> you see a bunch of crabs start to climb out from underneath the uh, the wooden plank that these people were standing on. He says, he says, this whistle will give you the ability to whistle for uh, random, uh, not random, but uh, different types of animals in the seas that you are in, not necessarily the ocean. Mm. People have told me that this whistle can be used in freshwater as well. Uh, but you never yeah. know what type of animal is lurking beneath. So beware. Oh, one, one question uh, before we go. Yes. I'll, I'll call Sprock over to me, um, the navigator. Maybe you can help us get uh, sorted on our direction. That storm we passed through threw us off a little bit. So we're trying to, Sprock, where were we trying to head? West, right? Is that where we're going? We we're going west, but weren't we going to some city? Yeah, what was it? I don't remember. Ooh, this is going to be... Do you remember? I have it in my notes. <laughs> you guys are looking for what's-his-name's brother. I have it in my notes, too. Whose brother? Um... So no, no, he's not his brother. His you're looking for. Uh, you're, you're looking guessing. for the person in the fort town. Yes. What town? That's what I'm trying to find the name of. Oh, Aaron has this in his in his um. The what? Aaron has this in his in his uh, dis Discord. The port town of uh, oh, hold on, to the beach. Sorry, I was writing that whistle. Sh I was writing the whistle into my fucking inventory. Give me a sec. Old man staff. We gotta go before this. Old man staff. What a fucking guy. Old man staff. Come on, side. It's in my self reflection. Yeah. I remember being told about it. Was it Flint Sh Bushwhacker? No, that's my guy that you fucking hate. Oh, yeah, that guy sucks. Ha! That's hilarious. Um, are you sure? It's in mine. Pargu's brother had a um, the proud heart turns in the children. Well, anyway, well, I'll I'll figure it out. But there is a um, undercover uh, barkeep at the port town of blank that mm -hmm. has. Um, the answers to where perhaps um, you guys should head um, and where you can find what you what you can only imagine is uh, the entrance to the underdark. Yeah. So I'll ask them where um... Where's, are there any port towns around here on a shore? Oof, I haven't been shore for years. Where's the closest shore? The closest shore, I believe, is south about 100 miles or so. All right. 50, 100, I don't know, not sure. Yeah. Oh, that's, you you that's said closer south? than west. All right, thank you. Uh, is there anything else around here we should be worried wait, about? Wait, wait, what direction? South. South, due south. Yep. 
Um, there's a shore due south. Um, is there anything to worry about? Well, I think you'll find out soon enough that you've been spotted. Enjoy. Uh, he sort of like hints towards, he's like, you boys better deal with. Oh. He's. Do you know what that shadow? I'm just gonna lean it's, over. I'm gonna tuck the whistle, put the whistle over my head, tuck it into my. I'm like, you know how to deal with this thing that's following us? And he swims over. He says, "Oh Lord, uh, better get your offerings ready." Um, and he heads out. Narita oh, Port. Huh? We're looking for Jackson at the Narita Port. Nice. It's a centaur bard in disguise with black and purple around the neck and an emblem of a star. I I don't was I here for this? Yeah. Yep. Really? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, right, right after that note, it says Metroid gives Aaron his two working water breathing things. Oh, that was right before the session I missed because you you guys played the water thing. But, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, so there's a large crash on the left side of the ship um you guys were so wrapped up in your uh experience with the mirror folk that you didn't seem to pay any attention to the large object um bubbling up next to you and i feel like robin would have let us know Robin uh, was helping you in the dolphin race. In the race, yeah. And oh, fuck okay. it. You're right. Let's, let's try. Let's try. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> thank you. Come again. <laughs> um, a large amount of gurgling noise comes up. Um, you hear this big <laughs> sound of gurgling, stomach churning, um, sea noises. The entire sea around you um, becomes black with ink, um, like, like squid ink, um, and a large tentacle shoots out of the water and drops a character onto your ship. And this man's name will be something when he comes up. Um, the person who lands on the ship uh, is very tentacly, tentacle ee. -e. Um, Does it look like a mind flayer? He looks like a cross between. Um, Who's the guy from the Johnny the Johnny Depp the Caribbean? Captain Barbosa? Yes. yes, with the with the squid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um and he says uh he, he clearly uses some sort of spell to drop himself down um this this tentacle through this guy up here and he uses a spell to sort of Use the water around him to float down to the ship's deck. Um, and he floats down right at the helm. And he says, um, have you prepared your offerings? Offering to who? Uh, well, he is... The master beneath the sea. His name is Acratupla. Acratupla. That's what his name is, if you need to know. And he demands tribute from those who sail across the seas. What have you here on this ship? What is most valuable to you? And what will you be giving to him as tribute? 
What does he value as tribute? Gold. And he seems to, let's see, he looks at you. There's going to be more, but it seems like he's pretty one-dimensional. Um, he rolled a very high perception. Um, and he looks over at Sprock and he says, you have an item worth tribute. He's we pointing at your wonder. Mike's, we have Mike's character. Your wonder, uh, your wonder wand. Um, I'm going to need this person to make me a wisdom saving throw. I don't know what he's talking about. And I, I want to slip up behind him. And um, what, is he actually holding a staff in an orb? Yeah. Um, I'd like to slip up behind him and separate him from his staff. And I want to, well, I want to take a staff from him. I want to disarm him. And then I want to use the butt. And then on a successful disarm of the staff, I'm going to use the butt of it to knock the crystal ball out of his hand. Okay. Before I like that. I like that, that a lot. Before we do that, we'll, we'll roll perception. I mean, uh, but let's see here. Uh, what do you need him to roll? So wait, uh, sorry. Uh, Lone Star goes first. He needs to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, 2018. I got 21. Mm -hmm. Fuck. All right. Uh, he knows that I tried to modify his memory. And he's going to go like this. <laughs> so <laughs> at this point, I'm sneaking up behind him and I'm disarming him. Sleight of hand, like, or I don't know. I'm uh, uh, yeah, to can, separate him from his staff. You can give him a sleight of hand. Eight oh eleven. Um, you do not wait. This is going to be so you're using your sleight of hand, so he's got to use his what his uh perception normally for like stealing, it's like perception versus his wisdom. Yeah, come on, baby. What'd you get? 11. Oh, natural 20. How do you like that shit? Get the fuck out of here. 22. Get the fuck out of here. 22. So, um... Mm. And I just want to stab him in the neck. Yeah, you missed that opportunity. So, <laughs> he, he's going to grab your hand, and he's going to deliver you um, some thunder damage. In oh, if you guys my hand, why, I want to use shock and grasp. Um, so you, you, you put you try to you try to grab his orb or whatever you were trying to grab, um, and he right. grabs you instead. Right. Um, the twenty is going to be um, him just grabbing your hand, and since he has you, um, he's going to. If I hit you, you're going to take full damage. If uh, let's see, if I don't, you're going to take half damage. Does mm -hmm. A 21 hit you. Yep. Hmm. Not good for you, sir. 5d10. 5d10 thunder damage coming to you. That's six, six, five, seven, so 12, 17, uh, 24. Oof, another seven. Um, 31 thunder damage. To the dome. I'm gonna use my uncanny dodge and take half. Okay. Um, he's going to say, "It's pointless to fight me, but uh, if you must, uh, there are plenty of ways of going about doing this. Give me your most valuable possessions." And you shall pass unscathed. Uh, Matt, what's your guy's character's uh, most prized possession? Um, I would say probably my bow. Says you. Give me the bow. 
Um, do you want to talk amongst yourselves? He's going to be, maybe I'll leave it to you to figure out what you'd like to do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn around as if I'm going he's to talk gonna to He's going to stand, he's going to walk down to the staring at you so you don't try anything funny. No, I'm going to try something. Okay. He's going to stand there, slither away down towards this, the, the, de the deck. Um, mm -hmm. So I turn to my shipmates and I say, are we going to attack this guy? It seems like we are, right? <laughs> oh, I'll put my hand up. Based like, on your action so far. If we attack this guy, we attack this thing that ate that other ship. Yeah, I I didn't attack him. I'm just saying it seems like you guys are attacking. I, I haven't attacked him yet. It was just... I was trying to take away his staff. A trigger happy mm -hmm. friend over here. Okay, I'm going to. Can can he see me? He can see me, right? Yeah, he's staring right at you guys. All right. He's like, I can hear you talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, enough time now. What have you to pay tribute to? Yeah, all right. You can have my bow. That's okay. I'll find another. It's not One special. Bow. One bow. Mm -hmm. I make and tribute. You, Don't make me regret it. And you looks at Aranus. Um, while he's talking to Aranus, I'm going to need him to make me another wisdom saving throw. This time a 16. That is a 12. Hold on. 12, but he has... It is a is a tie. He loses, right? No, he succeeds if it's a tie. Nice. I think. He yeah. Beats it. Yeah. Excellent. Tie goes to the house, right? So he knows I tried to charm him too. I'm not sure he can be charmed. Um okay. So, yeah, nothing happens. He so he has that airness, I think. To, um, he's going to say, um, you're running out of time. Uh, what is it that you hold the most dear? I will take it and offer it to my king. Uh, you well i i guess i'll reluctantly offer this armor of poison resistance armor of poison resistance uh you know what can i can i uh, sorry i'd like my bow back can i change my my thing what are you offering him i'd like to offer him and i'm gonna take out my rope and I'm going to just make a little five-foot circle of rope. I'm going to say, this is my offering for your king. And I'm going to throw it on the ground. We'll take that. In front of him. Okay. Yeah. And wait, hold on. Because what I want to do is, as I'm throwing the rope, I want to cast snare. Okay. On the, It's like part of the rope. So as soon as he picks it up, it's going to trigger so I want to throw it like in front of him and be like, hey man, this is for you. Let's see what he does. Uh, I feel like you need to give me a sort of sleight of hand. It's more like uh, I would say more like performance, even though that's worse for me. Like okay. if I like I'm, sure I'm trying to make it seem like lying to him about it. Yeah, okay. Give me a yeah. Uh, perception. Yeah. Your, oh your no. Your your perception. Oh, okay. What, oh, perception? It? Okay, perception. So deception. Oh, de oh, that's a thing? Oh, okay, I'll do that. It's charisma. All right, it's only a 10. Yeah. Um, he is on to you and knows what you're doing. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and he says, leave that right there. I'll take that with me when I go. Um, we love things. You, uh, druid, Give me your most prized possession, specifically that wand would do wonders. 
We're just going to give this guy our most prized possessions? No, use the wand. Oh, I'm going to use the wand. <laughs> you want it? You want it? Use it. I'll try I the, the wand. wand, by the way. And I immediately target him and use it. <laughs> this is not going to go very well. Well, no, it could. It could. You never know. I mean, for who is the question? <laughs> We don't know. We just don't know. All right, everybody ready? Yes. All right. It is a 28. A 28 right. is... You cast Stinking Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's great. Uh, you create a 20-foot radius sphere of yellow, nauseating gas centered at a point within range, so on him. The cloud spreads around corners and its area is heavily obscured. The cloud lingers in the air for the duration. Each creature that is completely within the cloud at the start of its turn must make a constitution saving throw against poison. On a failed save, the creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. Creatures that don't need to breathe or are immune to poison automatically succeed on a saving throw. A moderate wind at least 10 miles per hour disperses the cloud after four rounds. Does that do anything to him? No. Okay. Does he no. move? Disgusting, he says. Does he move uh, at all? Okay, so that sounds like I'm going to use the wand immediately again. Um, he's going to have a uh, reaction now. Okay. Um, and what's going to happen is... He is going to levitate and he's going to say, oh, I guess it's not going the way that we want. He's going to take the items that you've given him, the armor of poison resistance and the bow. What and, about the rope? And throw them into the water. He's what about the rope? You. He's on to you. And uh, he's going to uh, sort of convulse up in the air as he's levitating about three feet above the uh, hull and in a very deep, deep, deep voice, very bass heavy. Um, you're going to hear this being talk through him in, does anyone know a, uh, infernal or primordial? No. Um, no. Let's see. Maybe. Um, it'll be common then. It'll be through his. No. Through his voice. Um, actually, no. It's just going to be infernal. Um, you're going to hear this thing. It sounds like. <laughs> He's going to be convulsing. Um, everyone on the boat that hears it, which is just the, the four of you up top, um, are going to have to roll me a charisma save. All right. Charisma save, you said? Mm -hmm. 14. Seven. Ooh, 14. 10. Um, so the tide, a tide 14 is a save, right? M meets it, beats it, yeah. Okay. Um, those of you who did not save are frightened of the priest who's in front of you. And who's levitating? how high is he levitating? About three feet. Um, you are now terrified of him, frightened of him, and his being, whoever that is, um, for the next hour. Uh, and he's going to say one last time, I ask you one more time for your, one last time I ask you for your offerings. Sorry, guys, I got booted, so I, I missed a minute. 
Lone Star is going to pull a uh, a folded up jank ass rug out of his bag of holding and chuck it at this guy. They hear, take this shit, and he's going to open up another bag of wind into the sails. I'm trying to get the boat moving. Is that a magic carpet? Yeah, it's the one that you needed your fingers in. That was all fucked up and had to <laughs> in the acid That's use. Fucking hilarious. One magic carpet. Getting rid of this. And then a bag of wind opens, and I just want to start to try and take off. Uh, you're going to... He, the boat takes off. He's levitating over the side. Um, the bubbling stops. Uh, Aranis, can you send your uh, mage hand to get my bow first before we, uh, as we're moving? I use my mage hand to Thank recover uh, Ignis's bow. Thank you, sir. Um, he says to you guys, in he says, "Thank you for making me the offers I asked for, but it is not enough. There's far too many trinkets and items on this boat." You must have what it takes, and what it takes is more tribute. The master himself, the master beneath the sea, Akaratupla, will come for you in... Aaron, give me a D10. Uh Oh. Very important role. Ooh, three. Oh, three. That doesn't sound good. Days. Three days? That's and he falls awesome. into the water, and the bubbling uh, bullshit below the water fades away. The large object, you can see it sink into the water, and everything is um, feels like it's normal sea. All right. Well, normalcy. Uh, nice. uh, you know. All right. Let's head south. Get the fuck out of this water. Get out of here. Less than three days. <laughs> we should not be all over water in three days. That's what we should not be. That's that's. that's <laughs> that seems like a good plan. I I, I agree with that. Let's plan. go. Where are you guys going south? Anywhere. The, the closest port. The port was south, right? Yeah. yeah. Port. You south. The closest yeah. land. Land is south. Hey, I'm going south. that's all I care about right now. All right. Um, so what would you like to tell the crew? Go. Go. South. All right. Um, Do the things. All right. Who's ready for this? Matt, you haven't done a uh, encounter roll. Or no, uh, this wouldn't be an encounter roll. This will be. I'm a, happy to do that. An S roll. Give me an S roll. The 1D8. An S roll? An S roll, yeah. I don't even know what that is, but I'm on it. Mm. This is an S roll. Six. Um, that one we've already. Uh, you want me to re-roll? Uh, yeah, please. Next time I'll, I'll have more for you. Mm. Wow, I rolled a six. One. One? Yep. Hmm. Okay. As you guys uh, are moving along, um, this is hilarious. You uh, I should have just let the die do it, but um, you have, have another huge storm. Uh, you guys um, are coming along and you see, you look over the side, Matt, um, Mm -hmm. with your roll and you see something flutter in the, in the water. Uh, Okay. Maybe maybe a fish. It looks like a weird, um, are you familiar, does your background have fish, fishing or? Oh, I'm an expert at hunting. Would you be able to identify different species of fish um fish in particular probably not i'm like a, i'm like a forest and desert guy but 
what I will do is I will cast Hunter's Mark on it. It's a it's whatever. We're all having fun out here. And I'm going to mystically mark it. And until the spell ends, <clears throat> if I hit it with an attack, which I'm not doing, it's extra damage. But I can also sense and find it with advantage on my wisdom or survival checks to try and locate it and or remember information about it. So like I can basically cast spell to be like, yes, I can identify it to some extent. This is gonna be great. Does anyone else want to shoot randomly into the water at an object? No, it's not shooting. I didn't shoot. Cast a spell on it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm casting a spell on on it, on a creature, on the creature I can see. Uh everyone roll initiative. I didn't cause it any harm, just to be clear. 18. 11. 13. Uh, Aaron, you got a, a 18? Yeah. Who got a 13? Uh, Lone Star. Lone Star. And Matt and Jake. 11. Jake? Yeah. What'd you I roll? 13. Ooh, 13. You have a roll off for Chris. He has a higher dex. Ooh. Too bad. Well, for you, um, my guy, my, my, so you look over the side, give me a perception check. Um, Matt, since you're the one who's casting the spell. All right. I have disadvantage on all perception checks for something. Okay. So that's 19. You have exhaustion? 19. Oh, is that why? No, I don't. That was my old guy. He's dead. I think it's natural. It's part of my what, what are skill you? set. I'm a drow, a dark elf. Oh, yeah. You have sunlight sensitivity then. Yeah. So either way, it's a 19. You see these fish jump out of this. The, a, you see half, half man, half fish in the water. But it's not the half that you normally would like. It's the feet of man <laughs> with the head <laughs> of fish um, okay. swimming up to the, the ship. Um, there are three of these weird creatures, um, and they immediately start attacking. One of them oh. is going to use his... They're Actually, all three of them are going to try to jump out. Which one's marked? Uh, they both, they all three of them miss with a low uh, strength and dex, um, and they just sort of flop towards the side of the, of the, uh, um, over the side. Which these one? look like they could taste good. Let's get, let's get these for for food. Um, the one closest to the front of the ship is the one that's marked. Um, okay. Aaron, it's your turn. <clears throat> Um, I mean, I guess, no, hold on a sec, I gotta like orient this thing so I can like be looking in the right direction. Um, all right, uh, I'll walk over to the side and, huh, I mean, I'm just gonna aim over the side and shoot at them. Nice. Uh, I'll aim at uh, this dude right here. Okay. Fish fish three. Fish man. Legs. Legs three. Legs three. Uh, where am I? Uh, 13. Uh, 13 hits. Nice. It's not going to be back. Uh, seven damage. To, to the one closest to the this guy. Yeah. Fish three, seven damage. Okay. Um, Jake. Yeah. What's up? What are you doing? Random creatures are attacking. They seem to be more animal-like than... Yeah. I feel like I should talk to them, maybe. See what's going on. Can you talk to fish? I can talk to animals pretty well. Let's see if I got something that helps me. <clears throat> uh, 
I thought it was for druids. It was any and like creature they were familiar with they could talk to. Or does that turn into? Say, I think if you speak with animals. Yeah, it's just him. Um, are they? I can see them, right? Yeah. All right, then I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts on them. Um, you hear, you, you hear this, you hear, and then you, you hear, you hear, mm, 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 mm. not a lot going on inside that brain. So it has an intelligence of three or lower? Yeah. Oh, Okay. All right, I'm just going to tell the guys that these things are stupid and we should just fucking see if we can kill them. Okay. Um, and I'll cast Thunder Wave at them. At all of them? Uh, well, the ones that are in front of me and at least like, you know, 15 feet away from the ship so that it doesn't affect the ship. Okay. Yeah. All right. Roll. I have, to, I have to roll? Yes, you do. A dex save? Con 16. Oh, shit. I got to pull my. So three gets a 12, two gets a 16, and so three and one fail. All right. Three, uh, one fails, you said, and two make it? Uh, yeah, one, one, three and one fail, two makes it. Okay. So the ones that fail take eight damage, and the one that doesn't takes four. Damn. Okay. And Chris, I... is that that's your turn? Yeah. Okay. So one in three get blown back ten feet too. Yes, that's also true. Uh, they're in water, so I'm gonna say, were you aiming? Uh, yeah, I, I just give it. I'll move it back a little bit. Not all the way ten feet, but. So, yeah, I think two is still up at the rail. Yeah. I'm going to run up onto the rail and look down and cast Lightning Lure. Need to make a strength save, DC 16. I don't think this is going to go well. DC 16? Yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, 16. I rolled 16. So nothing happens. Wow. Sucker. That's it. Uh, Matt. You've marked. Okay. I marked number one, but I'm going to go here. I'm just going to move down to this area. I'm just imagine like Pam Anderson sized tits. Just <laughs> Wait till you see my hero forge. Um, I am going to, as the chef, I'm going to take my fishing net and I'm going to try and reel in this one closest to us for some food for the crew. Okay. I don't I don't really know what to do for that, but that's what I'd like um, to do. Um so you're gonna take the fish. Why don't you roll me a hit to see if you can grapple it? So okay, just like roll, a, yeah, just roll me your my attack or something? Yeah, roll me an attack. All right. We'll call it a ranged attack. Yeah. Uh 18. That definitely hits. So you uh, have him grapple. And and I want to. I want to reel him in, in my net. He's in my net. All right. So you've thrown your thing. I'll let you do it as a bonus action. You can. You could give me a strength. Okay. Uh, Sixteen. Um, okay. You've pulled him halfway up. You're still holding him though. All right. That's my turn. Um, okay. So fish. One and three are going to 
use both their movements to jump up and out of the water and land on deck. Um, plop. And they're going to turn. And what you see before you is exactly what it looks like. Massive, large uh, goldfish head. Um, and they're going to turn around on their man feet um, and stare at the closest person uh, to them, which is Aranus and uh, Igo, I, whatever. Uh, and they look over at the both of them and they go, that's it. That's their turn. It is Aaron's turn. All right. Um, so on um, my owl's turn, I'll have it use flyby, like that help action to catch the attention of um, this. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm not on the thing. Gave up your magic carpet. Uh, to grab my guy right here's attention um, to use it. So use his flyby ability for that. And then on my turn, I'm going to run up on him and um, cut him in the head. So I'm going to, um, okay, actually, uh, let me do this right. So this, Aranus, this circle is still active. If you can get him in there. Where is it? It's this green circle I drew. Oh, shit. Hold on. Sorry. I switched back over to the fucking thing. Oh, okay, 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 I see. Like, if you get him in there, we got him. Okay. Um, I'm very interested to see what you're trying to do. Well, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get him into that circle. I'm going <laughs> to... Um, I'm not going to be able to help your circle right now. That's okay. Um, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna, while my um, owl has his intention, I'm gonna um, run up on him and hit him with my short sword. This is what I'm gonna do right now. Just a half fish, man. Okay. Uh, Roll me a hit. What is it? 21. That hits. High rolls. Uh, nine damage, and then I'm gonna use my sneak nine. attack. Oh wait, because I had advantage on that. You attack. don't. You hitting three. The, this guy closest to you. Yes, that guy. Uh, describe your kill. Uh, cut him in half. Sushi baby. Are you <laughs> cut his head? Okay, well, halfway. Like okay, you can cut his head off pretty much. Um, of man to fish. Yeah, I'm gonna check his body. You know, that suncher of chewy. <laughs> and you're still in a fight. Do you want to? Okay. Actually, body. I'm not really worried about. <laughs> um, you do I telepathically see... tell my owl to, to watch my back. You do see that. Uh, give me a perception check. Give me investigation. Let me guess. Uh, investigation. Uh, twenty-three. You see that. Um, his stomach is full of not just undigested seafood and 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 sailor parts um but you do see that there are uh some gold and pebbles in there there's about four gold um four gold. nothing of importance all right i'll take that four gold okay um jake it's your turn Um, there's still one more in there, right? Yeah, there's one. One is grappled right now. Um, one is dead, and one is on, on board. And the one that's on board is not dead? No. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to first heal myself. Nice, good, good thinking. Seven points, nice. And then I'm going to mm -hmm. 
So wait, I don't have my wand anymore, right? He took my wand away. Um, no, you have your wand. You did, you did not give your wand up. I did you not didn't sacrifice it. anything. That's what I thought. Hmm. I don't think these guys are worth that. I'm just going to uh, shoot him with a short bow. You would. You would. Um, okay. 13. That hits. Three piercing, damn. Okay. Um, Chris, you're up. Lone Sir is going to uh, run up to his last fish person alive on the deck. He's going to uh, touch or try to grab the arm, and I need it to make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, he has no arms. Just, just. Left. Or I'll touch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll touch it. Yeah, he's just a. He's just a I'll, I'll, touch, I'll touch the flopping penis. Yeah, nice. <laughs> His penis. Okay. Constitution save DC eighteen. See if it can. Not. He does not make the eighteen. He has. He a... gets sucked into the necklace with the purple worm. Oh shit! And I tell it telepathically, beast, my son. Uh, now you have to first roll a initiative for the purple worm. Have we been keeping track of the purple worm's health? I should be doing that. I, I have. Okay. Um, what's your initiative with the purple worm? Let me find it. Purple worm. Purple worm's at 108 out of 247 hit points. Nice. Um, okay, well, he's going to go first anyway, because this guy has no fucking idea what's going on, and he already went, so um, I will allow Purple Worm to go on his initiative first. His initiative is, is minus two. Uh, that's a six. Um, okay. I'm going to go after Matt. Matt's return. So this guy is no longer there. Um, I'm just going to try and keep reeling up my guy. It's a 15. What's the damage on that necklace? No, you just get sucked in. Or what do you mean? The damage to get out? Yeah. 300. Okay. This is the third thing I've fed it in the couple days. Okay. But it, it the necklace also says it doesn't need to eat or eat or eat or drink inside. So it's not hungry. Okay. Um mindless uh Matt, are you what are you gonna do? You're gonna try to I'm gonna finish reeling in my catch. Okay, strength check. My dinner. I rolled a 15 for a strength. All right, you pull it up on, on the deck. It is grappled with you under that net. Yeah, I'm just going to take my dagger and, you know, fisherman's kill. Nice and clean, back of the neck. Um, Give me a hit. He is still in there. with with a, Roll your hit. You have advantage on it. Uh, okay, that was one. 25. That hits. <clears throat> um, also, I can make two attacks on any turn, so that's seven damage. But if I need to do it again, I can. Um, yeah, he's still he's still got some health left. All right. Don't worry, don't worry, boo. This guy's um, gonna, gonna be a lot easier than. Okay, I got a natural twenty on the second one. Okay, so that's double double the damage. Yeah, that's ten damage on that one. Ooh, he's still, still, still beating. He's still kicking. I feel bad he's now. Still <laughs> hasn't lost his color yet. Uh, <laughs> purple worm. You see a fish with legs running at you, and it hears feast in its head. 
Yeah. So Worm's going to do its multi attack. Tail Stinger right at him for a 17 to hit. That hits. Poor little guy. Or any more dice. Always do this multiple times. So it's three, six, seven, six, eight, uh, eight plus six, 14 plus nine, 23 points of piercing damage. Uh, and it needs to make a con save if it's still yeah, alive. That's dead. Yeah, and then it eats him. Okay, and very big roll for you guys. Um, after this next one, so the fish is going to try to break free, and he's going to fail with the fucking seven. Um, he is restrained. He's no longer, um, it's Aaron's turn. Um, but I guess you guys could just also kill it. Yeah, I mean, are, are, are these guys really, like, what, what are these guys now? He's, he's trapped in a, in a, the fish is out of water, in a net, about to die, but no one's putting him out of his misery. That's, so I like, tried. Can we just keep, can we just keep this? There's some, this on? fucking hunt, this, this Pam Anderson, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get us some dinner. We it's need to see like the crew. Beating, instead of beating, instead of like shooting the fish, it's just hitting it with the with the gun. Yeah. All, right. All right, yeah, he's tenderizing it. Sure. All right, so <laughs> can we just start sailing now, or do we have man, man. Oh, she just want to drag the fish along. Huh. Fuck this oh, fish. fish is on deck. So wait, oh, is this last fish still alive? Also, yeah, in the net. Yeah, he's good. We're good. Oh, we right. we finished good. the fish up. Right. So we're out. So yeah. let's go. He's, so we're we're we sailing killed. now. We're back to sailing on our way. Okay. We're just going to let him die slowly. He's going to be dinner. No, I'm going to finish him off and I go down below deck to start cooking up some food for the crew. All right. Uh, as you're cutting him up, um, give me a attack. And just an attack. Uh, 27. Um, okay. That hits. <laughs> I guess it would technically be 25, but I assume that hits also. Okay, you kill him. Um, are you going to, when you take him down, you're going to cut him open, fillet him? Yeah, the fish part. We're going to leave the human legs. We're going to toss the human legs overboard. All right, as you disembowel... I'll suck the human legs into my necklace. No, fine. Give me a... Uh, what would this be? You're cutting open a fish... Survival? Animal? An animal? Yes. Animal survival. handling? Animal handling. Give me an animal handling check, Matt. 14. Okay, uh, you are dis taking the guts out of this thing, removing the fish um, and the legs. Nice. And uh, you feel something like this stomach is kind of big for its, its body. Well I, well, I want to see what's in there. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm the fish. Um, and you cut open this um the stomach and out falls a key Ooh. and that key is red it's a red key all right um give me a investigation What is your um what's the language that you speak? I speak common, draconic, elvish, goblin, and orc. Okay. Elvish, I guess um, I'm an elf. So it would be my like norm, my basic. Okay. Language. There is a uh Chris, what was the there are no languages? So 
your key has in common a D on it. Okay. Um, that's that's it. The red right. key. Can I go cook my the fish for everyone? Sure. All right. That's what I do. Um, so, um, all right. And that's done. Okay, so you guys are still uh, headed south. Um, yes, at great haste. At great haste. Okay, um, you're heading south. The shore is in front of you. Um, this island seems to be making itself present to you. Um, and that's hilarious. Um, how do I do this? <laughs> I'm glad you prepared so much. Um, <laughs> the island at certain times seems to be you seem to be traveling toward it quicker at certain times and then not it seems like it's moving the island seems to be moving a little bit mm. this um, must not be the shore then well it's a shore of some kind <laughs> shaking your head your captain captain my captain the crew is down there just working its ass off that's is we're gonna keep going south this is an island that's moving it's not a shore um okay unless you guys want to stop here i feel like it's alive and i don't think we should stop there i agree <laughs> <laughs> islands don't move things we want to step on don't shouldn't be moving in the ocean i feel like as a general rule especially right. when we're being chased by something this yeah island um is just you guys are going to pass it um heading south uh make a note though that there's an island that is moving doesn't necessarily mean that it's living mm -hmm. um because doesn't necessarily mean that it's not, though. It could also just be floating. Um, Either way, it's not, not safety. Shore. Not a shore. Uh, okay. Give me a... Okay. Give me a B... No, give me a T roll. A what? T roll. This is my list what of is that? Keys. A, a T for um, random stuff. Give me a T roll, uh, Chris. You guys are coming up on a. Uh, what, what, what do I roll? Give me a D. I don't have a T die. I'm sorry. It's a T four. Give me a, you have four options here. T four. Okay. T four, baby. Dos. Ooh. Dos minutos. Let's see what we got here for you, sir. Um, okay. You are going as fast as you can. The sails are down. And you, the ship, this is retarded. Are you ready? So the ship runs into the sky. Hey. Good job, guys. Wait, are we it tears on? a hole. Is this the Truman Show? In what turns out to be a gigantic wall. Oh. <laughs> gigantic what? Fucking wizard. It's the fucking wizard from the fucking beginning. He put us in this fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Wait, we're flying? No. The ship runs into the sky. Um, I guess into the wall, into like a wall. That looks like the Truman Show. Like, like Truman? Um, yeah, exactly. And it crashes, and the ship, by, by the way, the ship has 16.6, um, 19. No, you sent it to us. 
that has uh, 20, is 37 damage to the ship's uh, hull, by the way. 37? Uh, yeah, from the lightning strikes. And with the, um, it gets another 18. Um, well, and, the, uh, were the lightning strikes above, all of them above 15 damage? Uh, there was 16, 16, and 13. No, 16, 6, and 13. So the 6 and 13 don't count because the damage threshold of 15. Oh, so you have to have more. So you get 16 and 18 then. So you're going to have 16 um, light damage, and then you have 18 um, bludgeoning, bludgeoning from damage from running into the, into the uh, wall. That's a bummer. Um, and the wall has, um, on the south, <laughs> that's hilarious, um, you hit a wall. Oh. You said there's like a little crack opens in the wall? Oh, yeah, a little crack opens in uh, a, a, a door. There's like a little crack, crack there <laughs> up, up above. Um and leading so it really is like the Truman leading, show. leading yes. to this crack turns out to be the staircase. <laughs> uh well I say considering there is a very real giant sea monster chasing us, we run into this place. I'm gonna drop the anchor. Is there an anchor? Uh there sure is. Well, no, I'm not gonna drop the anchor. I'm going to would, how about we have the, the goblins? Go in a gonna different gonna direction. Tie us off to uh, whatever this thing was. Just until we open the door and see what's inside of it. Can I risk it all? Who's going to do this tying? Well, first we're going to we're going to open. Like to have a survival off. check on this fucking tie. No, you you. It's fine because the goblins will be able to. That's what you want. The crew is going to do that for you. Yeah. Well, I tell them to loop the the a rope through. Whatever on the stairs is there that they can loop to and hold off, hold on for a bit. Uh, first mate downstairs is going to be. He's having diarrhea. He's still sick, um, and he's going to say, uh, "The first mate is going to raise morale by fucking just saying by emptying his poop bucket." Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna throw his poop bucket out. And chum the water and say, "Go fish this out!" God damn it, I have to. I'm so sick. Ah, so help me God, if you don't make that rope tight, I'm gonna make you eat this shit. Uh, and morale seems to do a DC fifteen. Uh, no, morale does not boost. That was a five with his score of eight. Sorry, guys. First mate sick. So what do you guys do? You tie it up? Well, is the door locked? No, it's open. You're hit. You hit. You hit the wall. Door. And then knock the door open. Yeah, and there's a sign on the door that you can't read. Um, and there's a stairwell up to the to the. Um, there's a stairs. They Ignis, want to go check that out and see what see what's going on? Yeah, sure. I go check it out. Wait. You know what? Before we do that, I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace. And I'm going to go stealthy into the Truman Show door. <laughs> um, as you climb the stairs, um, you get towards the top of it. Um, written in a... Fuck, give me a second. A language which I'm not sure. Would you know under common? I don't know. I'm a dark I would, elf. I would think it's like something I would know. Like where they were from. It's, yeah, it's not on my list though. 
and and drows have some light sensitivity from being in the underdark and underground. I probably oh, know you're, enough. You're a drow. Yeah. So is so is Jake. Jake has some drow in there too. Okay, you recognize these symbols. Um, you don't really understand the language, but you do know that it either says entrance or exit. Oh, cool. Um, I can I go through? It says aloha. Um, yeah, you can go in. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I stealthily go in. You walk in, um, and you see that there is, um, there's a, a stench, um, smells like, not like a, like a rotting flesh, um, mm -hmm. but sort of like a stale, very stale. It's like almost uh, a stale library smell. Like a lot of dried, even though you're in the middle of the ocean, very dry, tasty, like papery smell of a library. Fucking gross. I hate libraries. Just kidding, but seriously. Um, I've never really, I've only been to two, I think, my whole life. Um, okay. And <laughs> it seems to be, uh, as you walk into it, um, there seems to be a lot more to this dungeon than meets the eye. All right. I'm going to yell for my friends. Uh, can you can you be perceived? Not yell. I'm going to explore a little more. I want to go in a little further, actually. Um, there's one room that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, how are you? They already know you're there. Um, give me a perception check. Twelve. Um, there is a brain, a massive brain with four legs on it. Oh, that cool! Is, that is dead on the on the floor. It's dead. A dead brain. Yeah, big dead brain with. It looks like a dog, but. It, it, okay, it, it I was, I think that's that's my cue to go for backup. So I'm gonna I'm gonna still in stealth mode retreat and go talk to my friends. Hearing the description of that dog like thing, Lone Star will tell them about the intellect of ours that he has met and killed. Mm. I, I think there's one up there that's dead. Oh. If there's one in there, there's got to be more. There's, I got to make sure they're dead because that's yeah, that's a bigger priority than this thing that's chasing us. Just one room to a larger dungeon that you saw. Yeah, I relay all of that. You know, I, I tell everyone what's going on. So I say we're all under my stealthy spell. We just go in and we'll see what happens. But at least we'll be we'll have the element of surprise. We'll have some cover. How long has it been since we had the encounter with the Kraken? Uh, about a half a day. Okay. We can delete my circle then. It's been a half. Yeah. Day. Say let's. You guys feel like going in? Yes. All right. Let's do this. Wow. I did not. I did not see this coming, but it all makes sense that the Truman Show would bring you to a potential Mind Flayer dungeon. How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. And I was wondering, I was like, where's the wall going to be? And it's to the south. <laughs> Where all walls should be. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this wall was not built by anyone besides, well, TBD. 
Um, all right, let me open up the uh, dungeon. I did not think you guys were going to be here for at least a couple, a couple sessions, but there you go. <laughs> so it's it's half, but but we Truman showed it. Yeah, you Truman showed it. That's how you do it. Um, how can I get? So this is big guy inside. Inside stomach, I guess, is where it is. This might be where we need to. Okay. Um, just the red um, is visible. So your door is up here where the sky is over here. And there's a dead. Uh, intellect devour um, where that guy is, essentially. Okay. As we, to, you know. as we sneak in there, our lone star will go investigate the intellect devour, confirm that it's dead, and check it out for anything else that it might have in, on, or around it. Um, it's just a dead, a dead brain. Nothing in particular. You do see that it is indeed. Let me give you the description. Is there a jar in this room that's big enough for the brain to fit in? Anything that you can carry? Um, Wait, what was the, oh, I don't have it, the script. I have to pay money for that, which I fucking will. You know what, guys? Congratulations. Describe is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to spend like $10 a month on this. Um, you know, I canceled Hulu, but Scribe, I think, deserves it. Um, mm -hmm. My descriptions will be better next time. But what you're looking at, essentially, is uh, a brain with legs, um it has a sharp um underneath it but just be very careful there is a sting a sting portion of it um but that's they haven't gotten it yet um when you see when you look out in front um at this uh dungeon you do not see very uh far ahead of you um, I don't even know if that covered it. No, it did not. Um, so just pretend like you can't see it past it. Um, and you guys all will be... Um, did everyone go in? <clears throat> what? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. We left Mike on the boat. That could be bad, depending on what happens to the boat. But... That is what happened. Dyke and three goblins. That's true. With their first mate still there. All right. Um, let me see who the fuck this guy is. And a crack in this chase in the boat. Oh shit. Speak of the devil. That is Mike's character. <laughs> nice. I guess he, he ended up following you guys. Um, but this is where, unfortunately, we are going to have to pause. Oh, it's a perfect timing. Um, uh, what? We're not going to get a boss fight? Yeah. Um, so you guys, next time. You guys, we'll save guys, a boss fight next time. Next um, time. Uh, oh, this is there. This is a, this is, I hate to break it to you guys, but there, you guys are very far away from a boss fight. Yeah. Um, you could. That's what you think. It's up to you. Um, to do what you want. Um, you are able to do a rest on the ship. You guys can do that with Mike next round before you go into this dungeon. Mm, that's it's probably like a good idea. Was, um, it's up to you as to what you want to do. You can do a short rest as well, but just know that if you do that, you're closer to the end of the day 
Mm-hmm. Um, and things chasing us. Yeah. Uh, what was his name again? Um, Arca. I have it here. Here. Arca Tukla. I can spell it out for you. It's yeah. A A K E R A T U P L A. Akra Tupla. I have A A A. A A K. Oh. E R A T U P L A. Akra Tupla. Akra Tupla, the master beneath the, the sea. Could be a bad guy, could also be a uh, sort of. I bet it's the blue skull. You, you think it's the blue skull? Um, I have to take it. Let's find out. I don't know. Remember, we got this random red key too. And not everything around here is red. Let's not forget that. You have uh, a mm-hmm. dragon born. But we already um, had the red skull. Yeah, but this could just be a separate key. You know. Maybe it's dark red skull. No, it's we, true. We, we have another key. Don't kind we? of red it's supposed to be. That is totally true. We we found another key somewhere. Oh, there are three keys. You have one key um, that you found in the mountain. And then we got the other key when we ran into that portal. There was another key that you went into the you guys have the keys i didn't pick up any there's a rhyme island key not the portal key the rhyme island key Mm -hmm. there's the key from the fish that you just found and what was the other fish you you key you have three keys i thought you found a key yeah you found a key uh we went into the first portal lone star and drake found a key in uh, remember the blue key from the oh that's right I gave it to Sprock yes I'm holding a blue key yeah yeah when I came out of the portal out of the skull after things settled down I gave you the blue key because you were saying something about blue yeah and Aaron what did you say about there's another key in, in which port in the, the the city of Brock no uh no Oh, I thought we had gotten one when we went into um, when we used the the sphere to go into that um, into that center door through that portal. I thought we'd gotten something in there. I you thought mean Mario, Mario. What? No, 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 not Mario. It doesn't matter. They, you, you guys, you Brock. Oh, by the way, uh, Chris. Yeah. How, how many days has it uh is your spell? Can you read that spell for me for the block? It's 30, it lasts 30 days. Yeah. And, and I think it's he, been, does, he does his best to, to send. Yeah, so here, let me read the full everything for you. Um you place a magical command on a creature that you can see, forcing forcing it to carry out some service or refrain from some action. If the creature can understand you, it must succeed on saving throw or be charmed for the duration for 30 days. Uh, while it's charmed, it takes 5d10 psychic damage each time, each time it acts in a manner directly counter to your instructions, but no more than once a day. Hmm. So... Yeah, so he's so he's just doing his his deeds. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you guys got to the to the wall and the exit sign in the uh, in the ocean. You climbed the ladder um, up into the exit to find yourself in a dungeon when there is a intellect of hour yep. to your left. And excellent. That's where uh, we're at. Um, how the how the how the journey so far? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, this is gonna be a fun ride. This next dungeon, I have to make this thing massive. <laughs>